This tutorial video focuses on the basic compounding interest examples. Uh, we're using the TI Inspire CAS calculator, particularly using the Finance Solver function. Example number one. James invests $2,000 in an interest bearing account for a period of two years. We wish to calculate the account's balance after two years, given the interest is compounding annually at a rate of 9% per annum. Using the Financial Solver, you'll get a screen that looks like this. First of all, the period is for two years. The interest is 9% per annum. The present value or the starting value is $2,000. You'll notice it's negative because there's a cash flow away from James to the bank. No additional payments are made. There is only one payment per year because it's annually and that also generates one compounding period per year which is annually. Pretty much all finance solver problems will use default setting of payment at the end of the investment period. Finally, we leave the value, the future value we want to calculate blank for our calculator to solve. Let's use the menu, finance, finance solver. We'll just delete some of the data that was from previous examples that have been used and enter it in. So N was for two years. The interest was 9% per annum. The finance solver is always looking for per annum with the interest. The principal started at 2000 and again it's minus or negative because it's a cash flow away from the person, James, to the bank. No additional payments. The future value is what we're trying to solve and the payment per year is one. Compounding period per year is one as well. And down the bottom, payment is at the end. So get our answer, we press enter and that tells us the answer would be $2,376.20. And so we can see that after two years, James's account balance would be $2,376.20. Example number two, Joanne invests $4,000 in an interest bearing account for a period of five years. We have to calculate the monthly interest rate if Joanne's investment has a balance of $10,000 at the end of the five year term, given it is compounded monthly. So we're now not talking annually, we're talking monthly, and our values must reflect this. First of all, the number of terms it is in months. So it's 12 months per year over 5 years is 60 months. Our present value is $4,000 that's invested by Joanne and again it's a negative value because the cash flow always, cash flow rather, flows away from Joanne to the bank. Payment is zero, no additional payments. The future value is $10,000. It is being uh, 12 payments per year, it's a monthly arrangement and also being compounded at 12 periods per year. Again, to calculate the interest, we leave that blank. Let's head to our calculator. First thing, let's clear our previous calculations. Okay, so for Joanne, we had 60 months, an interest we're trying to calculate, a present value of $4,000, no additional payments, a future value of $10,000. Now, in this case, our payment per year were 12 because it's monthly and when we press tab that will update our compounding per year to 12 as well. So note our number of terms is 60 periods, 60 months. However our interest when we press enter will be an annual interest rate and that's how the finance solver works. So it's 18.47% when we round it um, per annum. So to get that in a monthly interest rate, we need to divide that 18.47 by 12 for the 12 months, and it comes out to a monthly interest rate of 1.54% per month. Example number three, Corey needs $6,000 to detail his car. How much would he need to initially invest if in four years' time he is to accumulate sufficient funds? His investment compounds quarterly at a rate of 2% per quarter. So again, it's for four years, at four quarters per year is 16 quarters in total. Our interest rate, whilst it's 2% per quarter, we need to multiply that by four because our finance solver is looking for a per annum interest rate, which is four lots of 2% gives us 8% per annum. No additional payments made, our future value of 6,000, our four payments per year because it's quarterly, and also we press tab that'll give us four compounding periods per year, which is quarterly. And to work out our initial value, our present value, we leave that blank. So again, we'll just clear our current data. Let's fill it in for Corey. 16 quarters 
at an interest rate of 8% per annum, an annual interest rate. We want to know what is our present value. No additional payments. A future value of $6,000, which you note is a positive value because it's money that will come back to Corey. Our payments per year of four, and when we press tab, that will also update our compounding per year, compounds per year. So we go back to our principal value now. Press enter. Our present value, and you see that Corey would need to have invested $4,370 and roughly 67 cents in order to get that $6,000 at the end of the four year period. So the initial investment needed, or the principal for Corey, was $4,370.67. Our final example, example four, is how long will Laura need to invest $5,000 uh, in order to gain a balance of $15,000 in an account that compounds interest weekly at a rate of 0.2% per week. Finance solver, again, 0.2% per week. Finance solver needs interest in an annual or a per annum. So 52 weeks multiplied by 0.2 gives us an interest rate of 10.4% per annum. We're in, she's investing $5,000, again, a minus value because there's a cash flow away from Laura to the bank when you invest. No additional payments. Future value, $15,000. 52 payments per week, which gives us also 52 compounding periods per week. And we want to find out what is um, the term or how long this will take. Now remember, because this is in 52 um, payments per week, we, uh, per year, we're talking weekly, so our number that we get as an answer will also be the number of weeks. So we'd expect a rather large number. We'll clear our current data for the finance solver. So N, we're trying to work out the number of weeks. The interest was 10.4% per annum. The present value was 5,000. Again, it's a negative because it's money going to the bank. No additional payments. We want a future value of 15,000. Payments per year. 52 payments per year because it's weekly and we tab that and updates the compounding periods per year as well. The number of turns will be 549.86 roughly or rounded weeks. So that equates to 549.86 weeks. When you divide by 12, it's roughly 10 and a half years. When you multiply the 0.57 by 12 to get it as a whole number of months, it rounds to approximately 10 years and 7 months.